and we are back. Apologize, fans. Our internet here at the ballpark went down. And for those of you watching and listening, sorry to say, or rather maybe happy to say, you missed a lot as the A's did reclaim the lead. Bottom half of inning number two, a go-ahead double, two RBI double from the bat of Cole Hiley. Hit the wall on the fly. He's batted around, sent 10 men to the plate, reclaimed the lead after West Dallas Nationals had a huge second. The A's answered right back. I'll hold a one-run lead. They are here in the bottom of inning number three. Two men aboard, one away, with Eric Solberg at the plate. Nationals were sent down in order in the top half of the inning. Jake Kolosinski did get a double, but then a lineout was caught by Barwick at second, and he just stepped on the base and headed right in. Oh, it's 2-1 and one now to Solberg. Solberg already with three RBIs on the night. Breaking ball in for a strike. That was a good one. A lot of right to left break. Looking at it as if you're the batter. Not too much top to bottom, but it really wound its way in there. And another one, but this one, Solberg gets a hold of. It will be caught in left. And the runners will have to retreat. So two way and up will come Harry Stelt. Breaking ball, and Stelt will wave at it. 0-1-1. Swing, and that one will be caught. A liner in the center. And that'll be it for the A's in the third. They leave two men stranded and retain a one-run lead. It is six to five after three complete. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by Community Bank and Trust.
top of the fourth, and it will be the bottom third for the Nationals. Mike Merritt is up. Swing and a miss after a first pitch ball. We'll leave in the count. Winfield has been working pretty well here. He has given up six hits. Well, the A's defense has been less than stellar thus far. Actually, it's been up and down. Couple of double plays. And, but then a very sloppistic second inning in which the Nationals scored all of their runs. A little bit tighter defense in this game could have a much greater A's lead. Rounder up the middle and there is some good defense. How about that? Eric Solberg hustling over towards the bag and it's almost behind it. Has to spin around, make the throw. He does, and he makes it look easy. So one away with that amazing play. Kurt Pryle is up. And it's 0-2. Allen a high pitch. A waster. Two and two to Pryle after he fouled one away and then Winfield sent one in that didn't quite get across. Then the next one will be low, picked out by Stelt. That'll fill the count. Winfield looks in, winds, and delivers the payoff. It's high and inside. Pryle take his base. A bunt is laid down by Kyle Kokoff, and he will get a base hit off of it. Well, put men aboard first and second, one away. In the top of the order, in the form of Brian Huntsinger. I've just received word that Solberg's play will, in fact, be the scenic bar, scenic play of the game. Little something for the A's highlight reel. Swing. Grounder to short, and that will be no outs as Solberg was a little off balance. He had a force at third. Also, of course, could have gone two. He decided to go one. Throw was not 
not in time. It'll score to hit. And the bases are loaded, so after a magnificent play to start the inning, Solberg has a bit of a gaff there. And now another one, but it's turned into two for the A's. How about that? There was a force at home and a grounder to first. So 3-2 on the force at home. And, and Harry Stelt didn't throw it, didn't sign it. He didn't have a play back to first for the 3-2-3 three, three, and the 3-2-4 as was ever covering. But the runner at third went, got caught in a rundown, and was tagged out. We'll call that 3-2. Three, two, five, two. And I'll call that not technically a double play. Ling Bay will get the fielder's choice. The West Dallas Nationals will be sent down without a run after having. Three men aboard. Officially leave two stranded. And we will head in the bottom half of the inning with the A's retaining their lead. This is Sheboygan A's Baseball brought to you by Mountain Dew. Bottom of the fourth, and Jake Perez will be up. Some of the Nationals taking a little bit of time to get into the field. Ball one into Perez. That one just missed outside. The next pitch bounces in. Locken has been fairly accurate. He has really been getting him over the plate, but a bit too far over. In some occasions, as A's have took them for 11 hits thus far. And the strike one is called on 3-0. Perez is ready to ditch his bat and head to first. But the ump says, stay put. Breaking ball falls in there and a full count. Breaking ball, that one will be high, and Perez will finally get his walk. Cole Hiley steps in and done some damage thus far. And now he holds back on the curve that will be called the ball.
Swings and misses. A bit of a surprise there. Looked like the same pitch. Maybe that one looked a little better. Well, one and one. Lock and delivers another breaker off speed. We'll make it two and one. And a swing and a miss. Bottom kind of fell out of that one. We'll make it two and two. Looks like Lacken is working with kind of a side to side breaking ball, maybe more like a slider, and then a bigger curve. Kind of a six or twelve six, they call it. Of course, fastball change. Fairly standard battery of pitches. Breaking ball, or fastball rather, after the breaking balls. That one was a wild pitch for sure. Just got right by the catcher, sped on past him. But that Perez will go to second. I'll also fill the count. Locken will look in. Takes the sign. Payoff is a breaker. That goes right back at Locken. He will field it and make the throw. Perez stays at second. And Blake Fleischman will be up. Strike one called. A breaking ball, that one looked like it bounced off the plate, scoots over towards the A's dugout. Now that'll give Perez third. One and one. Needs with the chance here. One out, runner aboard third. Chance to extend their lead, get some insurance runs, or at least open up this lead a bit. Curve ball. One and two. Swing and a fall back. Oh, Fleischman still behind in the count. Looking for something to hit. That will not be it. It's a close one. Lacken wanted it. Oh, Fleischman holds. And the count is two and two now, working his way back in. Probably a little easier to find something to hit here. Two and two. Breaking ball. Doesn't get into the zone. And that'll fill the count. So how about it? Swing, and that one will go deep, but it will be foul. Would have been 
a two-run shot if it would have stayed in play, but that one just faded right out. He got a good piece of it. Couldn't keep it between the foul poles. And the next pitch is in the dirt. So he will get on in a uh, much meeker fashion. And that'll put runners on the corners. One away yet. Chad Langley, the batter. Swing and a miss, and now a first and third situation, and it'll come to fruition for the A's. Perez will score. It looked like they had him, but Merritt did not turn around in time, and he slid in there, got his hand on the plate. Fleischman took off. They threw down, cut it off, threw it back to home. The throw was good. And in time to beat him, but he didn't turn around quick enough for the tag. The A's with some base running finesse will get a run across. Now, it looked like it hit Langley. Don't believe it did. But another run will score as it heads to the backstop and Fleischman comes in. So Lacken now having some control issues here. This will actually be Cameron Smith. We replaced Lockin. After the second. Now a swing on this that cannot be held on to by Merritt, but he'll throw down. Langley will be sent back to the dugout. TJ McCoy will be the batter. Foul ball made it 0 and 1. Now 1 and 1. Swing and a miss. Big cut taken. No contact made. So it's 1 and 2 to McCoy. Cameron Smith working on the mound.
And ball two. Swing and a miss. And down go the A's, but they put up a couple. And it's eight to five after four complete. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by Northwood Superior Chemical Co. Shea Smith, Joe Storino, Jake Kolosinski will be the West Dallas batters this inning, and looks like Nick Schmidlkoff will probably get a chance too as Smith grounds one through the left side for a base hit. One and oh, Winfield working on Storino. Count even at one, Winfield working here. Top half of inning number five. Eight to five, A's over the West Dallas Nationals in this Langsdorf League semifinal game. Winner will go on to face the Kenosha Kings. First game of the three-game championship series will be tomorrow night in Kenosha. High fly ball deep into the gap. It'll hang up there enough to be caught. Out number one as Willis hustles over for the catch. Jake Kozolinski. One and oh. Winfield's first pitch just missed outside. The next one does not. Gets the outside corner. Kozolinski, two doubles tonight. Swings and misses there. And he checks wings. Ball two. And 
And the next one will be high and outside. All full. So we will get to see the payoff. It is outside. Two men are on. And Nick Schmittelkoffer will indeed get his plate appearance. Strike one on Schmittelkoffer. Got the outside. Winfield's been looking for that spot all night. Starting to find it. Oh, a foul ball lifted out of play and on to New Jersey Avenue. Or at least the parking lot. So Winfield ahead. Next pitch, a good one on the 0-2, but it, it's too low. Fast ball, comes in just below the knees. Even count at deuces. And Harry Stout will go out to talk to Winfield. West Dallas. A little something going here, maybe. One out, two men aboard. Schmittelkoffer, one for two tonight. Did hit into a double play. Hit a line drive to Barwick. And Barwick stepped on second. There is a man aboard there. That ended the inning. Strike three. He got him. So whatever Stelt and Winfield talked about there, it worked, at least for one pitch. Well, that's enough to get one out. Second in the inning, Mike Merritt is the batsman now. He'll swing and miss. Ball one. That one... A little too low. No swing there, but it, it hit his bat and tailed off. So that'll be a foul ball for a strike. Two and two. One field looks in. And the delivery. Chopper to third. And Fleischman will uh, throw it away. He backed up on it rather than charging it. He had a force at third, but he didn't. Didn't have the force at third. Made the throw to first, and it was off target. So they're going to have to cause an error. Error charged to the A's. Third of the game. Well, 
results in a run scoring. And Kurt Pryle coming up. Kozolinski will advance to third. So runners on the corners. High fly ball. That goes foul. And that one had a nice landing in the parking lot. One and one. and one now. Oh, West Dallas has put one across thus far in the inning. Swing and a miss. And they'll have chances at least one strike of a chance to do so here as it's two and two to Pryle. He'll send one deep into left. Back goes highly, but it'll fall, bounce, and hit the wall. One run is in. And that will be an RBI and a double for Pryle. So the Nationals now within one and runners in scoring position, two of them. Kyle Kokoff will be the batter. And Winfield will be taken out of the game. And it looks like Tyler Martin will give the ball to Derek Lumens. Lumens in the A's starting rotation. He's also done quite a bit of relief work as well. He leads the A's in innings pitched. with 65 and a third. I'll get a few more here tonight. This will be a long relief situation. Why he's sending in lumens maybe in favor of some of the other relievers and the A's have used Max Kramsky and AJ Alessi. Both teams with 11 hits thus far. A's with three errors. West Dallas doesn't have any. That's got to be a contributing factor. A's gave the Nationals a lot of runs in the second. A lot of extra outs that led to those runs. Because of a couple of errors in that inning... One in this inning. He's holding on to a one-run lead. And Lumens looks in, facing Kalkoff. Swing and a fall back.
Swing and a miss on the curve. So how about it? Lumens looks in on the 0-2. Sets and delivers. Pitches outside. Doesn't put it anywhere near the zone. Waste around the 0-2. Breaking ball that will just get in there for a hit. One run will score. Two runs will score. And the Nationals regain the lead. And a comment on the air situation and the how the game has gone. Official score says Winfield only with two earned runs. Now a wild pitch will advance Kalkoff to second. So only Two earned runs for Winfield. That'll actually improve his ERA, despite the fact that he gave up seven total runs. Errors mar have marred this game for the A's. High fly ball, foul over by a third, Fleischman. Solberg head over there. Solberg with the catch. And that is it for the West Dallas Nationals. They put up several runs and retake the lead here. Nine to eight after four and a half played. This is your boy A's baseball brought to you by Bank First National. Here we are in the bottom of inning number five. A is locked in a battle for a championship berth. And we are one run behind the West Dallas Nationals. And Barwick is the A's batter. Batting number nine tonight. Two and one.
And to give you an idea of how solid the A's lineup is, Barwick batting ninth tonight has a batting average just over 300. Actually, just under 300. Misread the score sheet. 283, we'll call it. But that's something else for a nine hitter. And now he'll be walked. A's have been, do face some quality teams in the leagues they play in. Some real good pitching. Lost some close games. They've beaten themselves in some games, too. Of course, you can't win them all. Even the best teams in the majors are going to lose 50 games in a season. Certainly at least 40. A's play a little more than 60 games in a season. And we want to look at the positive. They're going for their... 40th win tonight. And it will be a big one. Runner aboard first. 2-0 and count to Colin Willis. Willis, the leadoff man for the A's. And as is fitting a leadoff man. He has the best on-base percentage and the best average for the A's. Willis with 51 hits. And 117 at bats. Now he'll get a walk. And that makes it makes it a 142 plate appearances for Willis on the year. And he makes good of them. And the on base percentage above 500. Hard to get much better than that. Surprisingly, he also leads the A's in slugging percentage. That's not exactly something you figure out of a leadoff man. But Willis, certainly one of the stars of this A's team. Swing, and that one is deep in the right, and it will be gone. How about that? A three-run shot for Eric Solberg. That... will give Solberg a single, a double, and a home run on the evening, and six RBIs. He'll need just a triple to hit for the cycle. And that will give the A's back the lead. A three-run shot, and it is now 11-9 in the A's' favor. That one went to the right of the scoreboard. Goals a distance of about 135, or 335 feet. 
135, that may be good for a base hit if it's a nice liner, but that one was a towering shot. He teed off on it, and it was good night, Mr. Spaulding. Or Mr. Rawlings, as the case is here. He's use Rawlings baseballs. Pitching change for the West Dallas Nationals. Kurt Pryle will move to the mound. He had been designated hitting, so I imagine he'll stay in the order and also work the mound. Harry Stelt is up, and the A's have no outs against them thus far in inning number five. Do have three runs to their credit. Pryle sends in a curve. That'll be called for strike one. Oh, and two. Pryle winds and delivers. Stelt hits a dribbler, and that one will result in Stelt being on first base. It was a dribbler. Pryo got off the mound to field it, but he couldn't. He couldn't scoop it in his glove. Tough one to make. I'll give him the hit. Give him the hit there. That would have been a very tough one. It's kind of a no man's land there. You don't know if you want the pitcher, the second baseman, or the first baseman to go field it. And Pryle got off the mound, but he it was a roller that he had, to, had had an angle towards, and he couldn't get it in his glove. It would have even been harder to make it out and get the flip. So runner aboard first. Still no outs. One and one to Jake Perez. One and two now to Perez. Pryle looks in, sets, and delivers. Strike three called, and that one looked like it was up there a bit. Perez thought so, but that'll be out number one, and Cole Hiley will be the batter. Highly missed the first one. And the next one will bounce off the plate. And to the backstop, Stelt will go to second. And every pitcher in thus far for the West Dallas Nationals has a wild pitch against him. Now on the breaking ball, it just hopped off the plate. Schmittelkoffer, Nationals catcher, could block it. One and one is the count.
next pitch is in the dirt. Schmittelkoff will go over and get it. It's hammer time. Two and one. Pryle looks in. There's delivery. Yeah, it's a breaking ball that'll get in there for a strike. Pryle, a right-handed pitcher. Swing and a foul away. Swing and a miss. Highly will go down, and that one must have fooled him. That was way outside. Mink said, out number two, and Blake Fleischman will come to the plate. Breaking ball hangs way up there, and lucky for Pryle, way, way up. Nothing to swing at. Strike one called. Swing and a grounder through the right side. And there'll be a play at the plate. And it'll be thrown out. Tyler Martin sent Stelt around third, and he got thrown out. So Fleischman will have a single, but it will go for naught. Nine two, down goes Stelt, down go the A's, but they get three off the towering shot by Eric Solberg, and they are back on top. Eleven to nine after five complete. This is A's baseball brought to you by Dufour Advertising. Nick Lingvay and Derek Lumens working on the mound now facing Lingvay. Lingvay lays down a bunt. Lumens gets off the mound to field it. Easy 1 3 play. Breaking ball, and that'll be called a strike to Shea Smith. Yeah. 
Oh, and two. Wind up and delivery just misses outside. Smith holds. No movements. Winds and delivers the one, two. Swing and a miss. He got him. So two away. And Jones Torino. Well, West Alice right fielder who threw out Stelt to end last inning. Strike one called. And now a high fly ball in the center. It is caught. Three up, three down. He's defend their lead. 11 to 9 after five and a half. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by Topper's Pizza. Bottom of the sixth, bottom of the order for your Sheboygan A's, Lingley, McCoy, and Barwick. And we'll take a look in. Swing, and this one is deep into right, and it will just bend over the foul pole. That needed just a slight breeze in to be gone. But as is many times the case here at Wildwood Park, there is not even a hint of a breeze. That one just went to the right of the foul pole. And went about 10 or 20 feet over it. Towering shot off the bat of Chad Langley will just be a really, really long strike. Swing and a miss will give him another. <laughs> Breaking ball bounces off the plate. Two and two. And ball three, high and away. Well, Langley wanted that one, but he checked himself, and he will be issued a walk.
First pitch to McCoy is a ball. McCoy, two for three tonight. Couple of singles. Swings and misses there. And a foul away to make it one and two. Swing and a miss. Down goes McCoy. That's one away, and Dan Barwick will be the batter. First pitch to him is in the dirt. This is Barwick's second season with the A's. Nearing its conclusion. He has been a solid contributor if not a star. Two and one to him now. Pile sets and delivers. Strike two called. Pitch low in the zone. That is a pitcher's call for sure. Swing and a miss. Barwick down. And Colin Willis will be up. Pryle with four strikeouts thus far. In his second inning work here. Well, that one will be inside, and Wills will have to dodge out of the way of it. Check swing, strike called. So one and two to Willis, and Willis falls one away. Goes out of play. A one and two, Willis digs in. And uh, shorten up the swing a bit and make some contact. There'll be no need there as that one's way up. Schmidlkoffer has to 
jump to bring it in. Now, contact made, and it'll go foul on the first base line. Two and two. Pile sets and delivers. It'll be in the dirt. So the payoff pitch from Pryle, raking ball, and he got a good piece of it, but it'll go foul. So another payoff pitch will be coming from Pryle. Now he steps off, looks over at Langley. No throw. Langley doesn't head back to the base. And it dances around out there. Another foul away. And we're seeing a good battle here. Willis and Pryle. Willis. Trying to get on base as he is so used to doing. Pryle trying to shut down the A's once again. Grounder foul over by first. So the next iteration of the 3-2 will be swung on and fall away once again. Certainly a good job of working the pitch count by Willis here. All he is really need is a man on base. So once again, the 3-2 swung on, and this one deep in the right. A little hang up there. And be caught a little bit in front of the warning track. And so the at-bat and the inning comes to an end. Is get a man on, leave him stranded. And is 11-9. A's over the Nationals after six complete. This is A's Baseball brought to you by Larry's Distributing.
In the inning number seven we go. A's with a two-run edge in this Langsdorf League semi-final matchup. Derek Lumens working on the mound for the A's in relief of Brandon Winfield. Swing now and a uh, deep fly ball. Hiley will go back, stand under it, and make the catch. Nick Schmittelkoffer, the catcher. Swing, grounder to second, and that is going to be another error for the A's. Barwick had a beat on it. And it bounced, hit him in the glove, and popped out. So that's that. And Mike Merritt, the first baseman, to the plate. Swing, foul out of play. Own two now. So Lumens looks in, checks the man aboard, and throws over now. Fairly close. Schmittelkoffer dives back in time. And now they're going to call a balk. I'm not entirely sure how they can be calling that a balk, unless they're saying Lumens hitched a bit before he threw as to make a feign or a fake, which would be in violation of the rules. Woman's pleading his case on the mound. Tyler Martin out to talk to the plate umpire, Matt Bohr. Tyler Martin will head back to the dugout, muttering to himself. Um, certainly not sure just exactly what the call was. It had to have been that he made a fake. Obviously, he completed the throw over to first, so unless he... So runner aboard second now, after the air by Barwick. Lumens with a little bit of gas there. A little be outside. Breaking ball breaks out of the zone. Evens the count. It's at twos. Now Lumens sets and delivers. Swing. That one is deep into the gap, and it's going to fall in. One run will score, and it'll be a stand-up double for Merritt. Kurt Pryle, who is now 
the pitcher been designated hitting throughout the game it's one for two also reached on a walk a little bit of a delay here And now Brandon Winfield, the A's starting pitcher, has been thrown from the game. Now Winfield will exit the ballpark. He'll be giving off a little bit of his frustration after giving up seven runs, only two of them earned. Breaking ball, clips the corner. That is one to prial, a strike. Omens sets and delivers. Swing, and that one is deep into the gap in left. It will get beyond Willis. Roll to the wall. The throw will be off target, and Pryle will have a stand up double. And that is the game tying RBI. And Tyler Martin will be out to talk with Lumens. Alex Elliott will pinch hit for Kyle Kockoff. Oh, and one after the first pitch. Next one is fouled away. So one out, man aboard second. Tied ball game. 11 to 11. It's inning number seven. He is trying to best the West Dallas Nationals for a spot in the Langsdorf League championship game. It's been a very interesting game tonight. A's have had some great offense, some lackluster defense, some brighter moments on defense, some solid pitching, and some not-so-solid pitching. A little bit of everything you can see on a baseball diamond. And now a looper into shallow left, and now they'll be cut off. And that will be an RBI double. So the West Dallas Nationals regain the lead. Now 
And that will be another lead change. Six of the game. Grounder two third. Throw will pull Langley off the bag. Another E5. Fifth error of the game for the A's. Nick Lingvey, the batter, one away, runners on the corners. He's in a jam here. Hit and run is on, but and, and Solberg will tamp the field. Hard chopper. He'll touch it, but it'll go into the outfield, and that'll be another error for the A's. Hit and run was on. It was executed. They may have gotten one there if Solberg would have brought that in. But he could not. There's now runners aboard first and second. Trey Smith is the batter. Swing and a fall back. Breaking ball broke high and tight. Smith will dodge it. It's one and two. A's really a jam here, giving up the lead. But now Lumen's got him. Called strike three. And Joe Storino will be the batter. And a hits batsman will put Joe Strino aboard first and load the bases. And with that, the Nationals have batted around. And it looks like Lumens will be run from the game. Lumens in one and two thirds innings pitched. Got two strikeouts, allowed four runs. No walks. And of those uh, 
of those runs, two, one or two of them only, are earned. A's with six errors in the game. And in a game where they have outhit their opponents 14 to 13, that's certainly a factor. Not only have they outhit their opponents, but a lot of West Dallas's hits have come after errors, even multiple errors in an inning where the A's could have been out of it. So a lot of extra outs given to West Dallas, whereas the A's offense has kept them in the game. Their defense has been edging them away from it. Pitching has been solid for the A's. But it's really disheartening when you're on the mound and you see the kind of defensive breakdowns around you that happened for the A's tonight. Taylor sends in a ball. Grounder to short. And Solberg has it, will step on second, and that will be it. A six lead change of the game makes it 13 to 11 as we head into the seventh inning stretch. It's the middle of inning number seven. I want to take this time to thank the many sponsors of A's Baseball. A longtime sponsor from the beginning, in fact, has been Larry's Distributing, distributor of Budweiser products. Also, uh, Miesfeld's Triangle Market, Miesfeld's, makers of quality meats since 1941. Trilling True Value Hardware, Papa Murphy's Pizza, Superior Lawn and Garden Center, Aurora Sports Medicine, provides the trainers that assist the A's when they're injured and keeps them healthy and try to prevent injuries as well. Bottom of inning number seven, and here is Eric Solberg. It's one and one as he takes the ball outside. Swing and an infield fly will be caught a uh, pop up to the shortstop I'll make it one away and Harry Stelt will come to the plate Stelt was thrown out at the plate back in uh, inning number five and now he sends one that will hit off the wall, and Stelt will head for second, be in standing up, and get things started offensively for the A's in the seventh.
Jake Perez, and a one and all count to him. Next pitch, low and away, makes it two and all. Pryor can sometimes be a little off. It's never really wild, and he, but he's got a lot of velocity on his fastball, and he's got some breaking stuff too, and he shows it right there. Makes it two and one. Right down main there. Evens it at two. Breaking ball way, way up. It is full. Pryor looks in. But Sam delivers a breaking one that is popped up and infield fly. It is caught by Merritt. And that is out number two. Highly <laughs> breaking ball has to be blocked. Uh, Schmidlkoff will collect it. Highly one for four tonight. Awaits the 1 0. Strike one called. Got the outside corner. Jammed him there and he followed it back. So it's one and two. Swing and a miss. Highly down on strikes and the A's with him. They do not have an answer for the West Dallas Nationals. And after seven complete, it is Nationals 13, A's 11. This is Sheboygan Baseball brought to you by Culver's.
Schmittelkoffer, Merritt, and Pryle will be the batters facing Bryce Taylor in inning number eight. Swing and a foul. Might have hit him. Kind of dived out of the way of it, but he went around. So one and one. Swing. Grounder to short. Play is made. Nice and easy there. So Mike Merritt's up. Strike one. This is the A's third pitcher, Bryce Taylor. And Winfield Lumens Taylor have been the pitchers. They're all in the A's starting lineup, and they're all getting calls here to play the night. Because if the A's don't win this one, they're going to have the rest of the week off. And now one to right field from Merritt. Single. And Kurt Pryle will be up. Pryle. Two for three tonight. Couple of doubles, couple of RBIs, couple of runs scored. Three runs scored, actually. Reached on an error and a walk as well, so a perfect on base percentage for Pryle thus far in the game. One and one. Pitch is inside. Pryle turns away from it. Swing, and that's a foul. And it'll fill the count. One away, a full count to Kurt Pryle. Man aboard first. Top of inning number eight here at Wildwood Park. A's and Nationals. Pitches way outside, and Pryle will have a perfect on base percentage yet. This will be Brian Airforth. Went into the field for Kyle Kokoff after Alex Elliott pinch hit for him last inning. Own two to him. Swing, and that one will be foul.
He's two in it here. Now it's only a two run game. But it has been a kind of a game that you really don't want to be on either side on. If you win, you're glad to get away with the win, but that's about it. Getting away with it. Swing and a miss, though. And that is two away. It'll go back to the top. Brian Hunsinger. One and one. Taylor sends him one, and this one will be a little looper to second base, and the A's will get out of it. Nationals do not score a run, and after seven and a half, they have a two-run lead over the A's. This is your boy in A's baseball, brought to you by Professional Supply Co. Fleischman, Langley, and McCoy. Oh, that'll be the A's that will get plate appearances in the eighth. A's are hoping to get a few more up, get men across, tie it up, go ahead maybe, foul ball, grounder. It's own two. Five delivers, and Fleischman will follow it away. Fleischman is two for three tonight, couple of singles. Scored on a wild pitch back in the fourth. Two and two the count. Swing and a high pop that goes on to the roof of the grandstand. On hung up there for a while. 
Well, Schmittelkoffer and Lingve from third were looking for it. But it got out of play. So it is 2-2 two and two yet. Swing. Grounder that'll stay in play over by third. And Fleischman will round, but stay at first. So a single for Fleischman is third of the game. And Chad Langley will step in. Swing, ground ball, right side, and that will be one. They'll get Langley. Fleischman will advance to second. T.J. McCoy will be up. Designated hitting tonight. Two for four. Ryle looks in. And McCoy lifts one. That is a shallow fly in right. It'll be caught. So that's two away. And damn, Barwick will be up. Breaking ball, way up there. Pryle has been shutting down the A's. A's not scored a run since the fifth. Strike one called. And the crowd voicing their displeasure with the call. Breaking ball way up there again. Two and one. Swing, foul into the backstop to even it up. Two and two it is. Prial sets and delivers. Swung on. And he just got a piece of it. Two and two it will remain. Next pitch in the dirt. Blocked by Schmittelkoffer. Full count. Pryl sets and delivers. Swing and a chopper foul. Barwick battling here. Swing and another foul away.
Pyle working here at Barwick and Barwick battling, staying in there. He's worked the count full. And the next pitch is low, and Barwick will get a walk. Will be on first base for Colin Willis. Willis steps in, swings at the first one, sent him, and it rolls foul. Swing, and that one in the left. It'll be caught, and that is it for the A's. They leave a couple men stranded, and after eight complete, they trail the West Dallas Nationals 13 to 11. This is Sheboygan A's baseball, brought to you by BioLife Plasma Services. Nick Wingby, Shay Smith, and Joe Storino. Those will be the men that Bryce Taylor will need to send down. Chopper to short, charged on by Solberg. Throw is in time. And there is one away. And after the many defensive fumblings and miscues that the A's have had. That is refreshing to see a routine play. Moreover, a one pitch out. Now the count is one and one to Shea Smith. Swing. One just goes foul over by a third. Breaking ball inside makes it one and two. And 
And then another one inside. It'll even it up. Taylor's back ready to work. Winds and delivers. Strike three called. He got him. That is Shane Smith's fourth strikeout of the game. He is one for six tonight. So he does have a hit, but four strikeouts, one for six. Chopper, and that one will be handled by Barwick. He went over for it and got it, and he... Uh, Makes the flip over to Langley. And down go the Nationals in order. And the A's will have three outs to tie the game and keep her going. Keep their Langsdorf League hopes alive. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by Topper's Pizza. Solberg, Stelt, and Perez will be the men for the A's here in the bottom of the ninth. They need two runs. Big swing and a miss there by Solberg. Swing and a fall away. One and two. Swing and a ground ball that is stopped. A slide in and he'll be safe. An infield single for Eric Solberg. It was a good defensive play, a diving one made by Brian Erforth. He made the toss, Solberg slid in and made it, showing some hustle for his fourth hit of the night. And Harry Stelt will be to the plate. One and all to Stout, throw over to first. Solberg back in time.
two and zero. Now Pryle showing some signs of tiring. Strike one called. I think we saw a little of a bit of a pitcher's call there. Throw over to first. Solberg dives back. Pryle sets and delivers. The 2 1 makes it 3 1. You got to hope that Stelt is patient here. Because Pryle will spike one in the dirt and give him first base and two men aboard for Jake Perez. So Cole McLavick will go pinch run for Harry Stout. Tyler Martin getting some speed on the base paths. And Jake Perez will be the batter. Two men aboard. Squares the bunt, pulls back. Strike called. Bunt is laid down and it just rolls foul. Makes it Oh, and two, and maybe a little bit of a questionable decision there by Tyler Martin. Jake Perez leads the team in home runs with six, a slugging percentage of 560 on the year, but now he's down 0 oh, 2 after Tyler Martin sent him up to bunt. But he'll swing and send one that'll go foul. Got good contact on it, but it just had a big bend on it. Went foul out of play. 0-2 oh, it will remain. Ball one. That one was outside. Pryle wanted it. And so it's one and two. Pryle looks in. Sand delivers breaking ball just outside. That one was a little close for comfort for A's fans. But Perez uses a judicious eye. Two and two it is. Next pitch in the dirt. Count is full. So a full count here, and this is what it comes down to. Big pitch here. But now Pryle steps off and looks back. Solberg. And the crowd really heckling him for that. Ball four. 
Perez will get first base. And Cole Hiley will come up. A little mound conference. Giving Pryle some talking to. A little bit of confidence, a little bit of pick-me-up here to get these outs. Ball one. Five in a row for Pryo. Swing, and that may be the ball game. It's off the wall. One run is in. Two runs are in, and the game will go on. A two-run double. For Cole Hiley and the A's are still very much alive. It is a tied ball game. There are uh, no outs, and Blake Fleischman is at the plate. Runners aboard. Second and third, and it looks like they're going to give Blake Fleischman the intentional walk to load the bases and get forces at every point on the diamond. Ball four. Fleischman is aboard. Bases are loaded, and up will come Chad Langley. So now, after holding the A's silent for Three innings in a game that has seen many runs scored. Kurt Pryle struggling here in the ninth. A's have tied the ball game. The bases are loaded, and Chad Langley is the batter. He has a 0-1 count to him. One and one now. Langley swings, and that is a foul ball. Bent over the line and right, and the fans got on their feet there. They thought that was the ball game. But instead, it is one and two. Defensive swing there. Langley falls it off. One and two. Pryle takes the sign. Swing and a foul away.
Swing, shot up the middle. They're going to try for the play at the plate. And they get him. They got him on the force. Langley will reach on the fielder's choice. So the bases are still loaded. And TJ McCoy is heading to the plate. Ryle, looking from the stretch, delivers, swing, ground ball. They got to go home again, and they get it. They do not get two. The ball is overthrown, goes into right, and the Sheboygan A's win the game. The first air of the game for the West Dallas Nationals, and it could not have come at a worse time. Play was 4-2 to two for the force at home. McCoy reaches on an error. The only error of the game for the West Dallas Nationals and the A's escape with a victory here tonight. So what? To say about this game. A's take a one-run victory away from the West Dallas Nationals. And what a game. Started out innocuously enough like any other ball game A's got one run in the bottom one to nothing after one complete West Alice then got five runs and the result of some nice hitting and some not so nice A's errors A's answered right back in the bottom half to, got up six to five and put two more up in the fourth West Alice then retook the lead in the fifth again with the help of A's errors he scored three in the bottom half. And West Dallas again taking advantage of A's errors in the top of the seventh after a scoreless sixth. There was a scoreless eighth. And then West Dallas went down in order in the ninth. And the A's taking advantage of the tiring arm of manager, of pitcher, Kurt Pryle, a manager of the West Alice Nationals, deciding to put man on to load the bases, get the force at home. They did get two, and then it looked like they had a chance to go 4-2-3, but the th throw was away. The only error of the game for the West Alice Nationals, and it allowed the winning run across. 14 to 13. The box score for the West Dallas Nationals 13 runs on 16 hits, one error. Sheboygan A's 14 runs on 18 hits, six errors. You know, this is a kind of the game where you're glad to be on the winning side, especially when it's as an important as a game as this, but. Yeah, can't call it anything other than winning ugly. But when it's playoff time, more than any other time, the W's are W's, and the A's got one here tonight.
time of the game. Official start time, 7.30. Time of the game, 2 hours and 20, or 3 hours and 27 minutes. Wow, a long one tonight, and the A is relieved to get away with a victory. Losing pitcher is Kurt Pryle, but you gotta hand it to him. He really battled up there, he shut down the A's, and then he started to tire. And he did better than either of the two other West Alice pitchers by far. And at the plate, he had a heck of a night as well. Perfect on base percentage. Went two for three with a couple of doubles. Three runs scored, two RBIs for him. For the A's, had great offensive performances tonight, and that is really what kept them in this game. Eric Solberg was a triple try of the cycle. Went four, excuse me, five for six tonight. Five for six. Two singles, a double, and a three-run homer in the fifth. Six RBIs on the night. He had a key run in the ninth as he got on base, leading off, slid in. It was a close play, but he slid in there, got in, and that set up the A's victory. Other no notable offensive performances for the A's came from Colin Willis. He was hit by a pitch to start the game and went two for three, scored three runs. The only A without a hit was Dan Barwick, reached a couple of times on a walk, lined a good one in the second, but it was caught. He scored a run in the fifth. So the A's escape with one tonight, and they'll be heading down to Kenosha tomorrow to start the championship series against the Kings. I say they'll be glad to be there, but they'll need to show a little more on defense, but you hope they can show just as much on offense. They'll have three games to try and win the Langsdorf League Championship. This is the third year in a row they've been there. And after being runners-up twice, they'll be thirsty for a victory. Taylor Schwartz will be on the mound for the A's. That game tomorrow night, 7.30, down in Kenosha. I'm Jared Ertman, signing off. Have a good night, everyone.